Hey everyone, it's Jamie. I've been a guitarist for ages now, since I was 15 years old, and I've made loads of mistakes, bought and sold loads of guitars, so I'm here to tell you the five guitars that all beginners should avoid. So number one is Floyd Rose guitars or guitars with a floating bridge. I mean, I've got guitars with floating bridges and I really enjoy them, but as a new guitar player, it's already bad enough learning to play, practicing, learning how to string and what things do, let alone adding a Floyd Rose bridge and a floating bridge into the matter. The reasons why they're difficult to have is they're hard to restring, they're hard to stay in tune, they're hard to intonate, they're hard to make sure that the Floyd is balanced, whereas every other guitar, whether it be hip shot or string through, is easy. You just thread it through, pull it up, tighten it off, done. Can't do that with a Floyd. It's really difficult. Number two. Seven string guitars. Now I know what you're thinking, Jamie, you've got two seven string guitars, but I've been playing for ages. Getting a seven string guitar as one of your first guitars is probably a bad idea. Because again, you're fighting with six strings and now you're adding on an extra one just for the fun of it. Then you're probably only gonna learn things like super low down tuned things where you only play like three frets at a time. And I feel like, yeah, when you've been playing for a while, it can increase your creativity and you learn how to play weird chords and you can play a lot more scale length and like n more notes and stuff. But when you're first learning, I think everything is difficult enough as it is without adding an extra string on. And if you really want to play in a low range, as Mick Thompson says, just detune your sixth string. Put it down to drop B, but put it down into drop A. Now there's so many different gauges of strings out that there weren't when I was a kid. So it's even easier now. Number three, acoustic guitars. Bloody acoustic guitars. I mean, if you like acoustic guitars, that's fine. But you don't have to get one as your first one. It's not a beginner guitar because I can't play acoustic that well and I've been playing for ages and people who've been playing acoustic for ages can't necessarily play an electric guitar that well either. But they've got really hard strings, they're usually a really thick gauge, the action's really high, so it's really hard to press down so you get really big calluses. You generally have to play like plinkety plinkety plonk and that's really difficult on your other hand as well. So yeah, just don't get an acoustic. The strings are expensive, they're hard to put through, they're hard to get the little pegs out. Just get an electric and then eventually you can get an acoustic for fun. Number four, Flying V guitars. I mean, they're really difficult to hold, look at them. They're such odd shapes. Can't sit down with them, can't stand up with them unless you're wearing a strap. It's just really ridiculous. You can keep your Flying Vs, Randy Rhodes. Keep them for the experienced guitar players. Number five, guitars with all single coil pickups. Single coil pickups in a guitar where you wanna play rock or metal or like punk or anything is not a good idea. The whole point of a humbucker is that they get rid of the hum. That's literally why it's called that. If you put a single coil in your guitar, or you already have one in it, and you start playing Metallica with really high distortion, you're gonna get a lot of feedback and a lot of buzz. It's not a good idea. A lot of starter kit guitars are always three single coils, and that's not good. It's good if you can get a humbucker and two single coils, that's fine, but three single coils is a bad idea, and you don't wanna do that. So, those were the five guitars I think you should avoid when you're a beginner guitarist. What do you think? Are any of you breaking any of those five cardinal sins? Let me know in the comment section below what you thought and if you agree or disagree with any of those opinions. Don't forget to like the video, let me know that you really enjoy it and subscribe because I do new videos all the time. See you guys.